It has become a, a far too regular occurrence around here. Cars being pelted with debris on the freeway in the Seattle area. So the question now is how to stop it before someone is seriously hurt or someone dies. Q13's Brandy Cruz joining us live now. And Brandy, you spoke with Seattle's mayor about what needs to be done and really what responsibility the city holds here. Yeah, and this is getting to something where it's not just about a law enforcement response. You know, I know the Washington State Patrol is on it. They've had extra resources out there. They've made arrests. Uh, but the reality is, and we'll be honest about it, we know that there are homeless camps all around this area, you know, I-5, I-90, where that interchange is. Uh, and so the question is, to what extent are those camps uh, and people living there contributing to this. You know, we know one of the people arrested said he was high on meth when he was throwing things uh, onto the vehicles below. And so it's a realistic conversation that we need to be having honestly. It's a conversation I had with Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin, who actually put the responsibility and the onus to handle this on the State Department of Transportation. Almost all of the encampments that are right in those around the freeways are on State Department of Transportation lands. We tend on the buffer zones and sometimes even on State Department of Transportation lands work um, to mitigate safety concerns, but really the majority of those are in state jurisdictions. And it's a complicated process sometimes because if you've seen it, sometimes you have to cross a highway to get to the, the right of way that is where, there, where there's people camping. Yeah, and it is a complicated process, but obviously this is a serious situation. By the way, I reached out to WashDOT this morning to have them react to what the mayor said and sort of placing um, the responsibility on them to deal with this. But I'll note as far as the city is concerned, uh, and I have video to back this up. Can we roll this video? I've been out with crews right, right in this area. This is the uh, Seattle's former navigation team, which of course the city council defunded. We are right there on the uh, at a camp. Uh, this is a couple years ago at the on ramp from I-5 northbound uh, onto I-90. And Seattle did send people out there to do outreach. They swept this camp away eventually. And so certainly the city of Seattle does have some responsibility and ability to do outreach in these areas and to remove camps if there is a you know, a danger to the public. And so I don't know if it's fair for the mayor to put so much of the onus on the State Department of Transportation in this regard, because this obviously has to be a holistic approach. You've got law enforcement on one hand dealing with, in a lot of cases, the aftermath of this. Uh, and then on the front end, what can we do to make these areas safer? Do you have to put big fences up? Mm -hmm. uh, do you have to get out and, and do outreach to these homeless encampments? And so it can't just be a one one uh, approach on one side. And you, you mentioned that the navigation team was defunded. Do yeah. they have the resources to really address this? Well, I think they can always make the resources. The question is, is there the political will to really address it? We know that the city of Seattle has really gotten away, especially during the pandemic, at that kind of outreach where it ends with a sweep of an encampment. You have a lot of politicians in the city who don't agree with sweeps. They want to leave people in place. But again, you have to look at what's been happening in that area. You had a guy who was knocked unconscious when yeah. something hit his car. Um, there was an incident down in Fife. You had a baby in the vehicle. Uh, so while not all of them have been in Seattle, most of them have been centered up here. And so somebody's in this way. I told the mayor, is it going to take somebody dying for the city and the, the State Department of Transportation and everyone to go all in on trying to address this? We hope not. Yeah, absolutely. Brandy, thank you. Yeah.